back of the room and see it's back here for another video for y'all today. Today, <clears throat> this is two weeks in the making. Uh, I've been holding this back. I'm tired of holding it back. Um, I'm going to talk about it now. Uh, but first, I went with dip again without dip. I went without dip for two more days. I got a can yesterday. What did I get to that, that yesterday? Same thing, long one went away. 254. That's the sheets up by uh, Redneck Dipper's house. So, yeah. So, yeah, he he's probably doing a video now, I think, but I don't know. He said he's probably going to, he didn't have any ideas, and I told him, why didn't you do an update? Or where you been for three weeks? And I would do that, but that's just me. But anyway, if I was gone that long, but I've been posting somewhat a lot. So, catch a dip, go you dip, catch a G, go you chew. If you don't dip, thumbs up to you. Thank you for coming back to the channel. I know some of y'all don't dip, then that's alright by me. Longhorn. Because that's all I can afford now until I can get a job, which soon I should be getting one. So, don't worry about that. Mm, full can. We're doing all of No, I'm kidding. I don't want to do that. If I was working, then I would totally do that. Just for like the subscriber video or whatever. Like how many I hit and stuff. But Sorry, I was right down my bed. I don't care. It's my bed now. Food's gone. And that's what we're going to be talking about. While we broke up, how I felt during most of it, or like close to like the very end of it, and stuff like that. We're going to pack another killer filler. I want it to feel like a lip, that's why. I'd rather it feel like a lip than not. So anyway, um, so, okay. Like, I want to say it as nice as I can so this don't get no hate. Um, for almost the last month of our relationship, I started losing faith in us. It's not I was losing faith in me, I was losing faith in her. And I'm going to explain a little bit in detail what I mean by that. I was losing faith in her as far as the relationship goes because she was always complaining. She was always yelling at me. Could never let me go anywhere without her yelling at me. I couldn't even go out to the truck to help Mike with the truck without her yelling at me. Couldn't even use the bathroom without her yelling at me and asking me. Do you want to take a shower? But, but anyway, it's not no hate. I'm not knocking her. I'm not hating on her. This is just how I'm feeling about the whole situation with me and her. Yes, I care about her. Yes, I still have respect for her for doing what she's doing. But if y'all may know or may not know, um... I used to, I lock up with her. Certain stuff she did pissed me off. So what I mean by that is, I used to lock up right there in front of her. But here's the problem. She was really clean. Uh, and what I, mean, what I mean by that is like she was all over me when I was irritated with her. Like, I may have not showed that I was irritated, but like, she she didn't know what not what she couldn't couldn't do when it came time for um that. Uh, I'm gonna pause y'all and fix the camera again because I was 
figuring out different ways to set y'all up. So I'm gonna pause y'all for a moment. Give me one moment. Okay, that's a whole lot better. Um, so um, for about a month, I was not happy with her. the last month of our relationship. I was not happy. Um, to be honest, it. When she used to, you know, complain about what I was doing, where, where I was going, how much money I had, all this other stuff, I started feeling like I was obligated to tell her every little thing. I could go, I could go to Napa with Mike at two o'clock in the afternoon. Oh no, let me rephrase that. I could go with him to Napa at three thirty, four o'clock, because he wanted to go get something from the truck, and I still get yelled at. Don't make no sense to me. I'm going to tell you, when a man wants some man, man, man time with someone that he's close to, he's going to get it one way or another. But with her, I just felt like I was drowning. I wasn't able to do what I want when I want, how I wanted Without her being up all up all over me constant. Sorry, I had to move to death. Oh yeah, by the way, before I get into any further in this part of the video, I just want to point out that I had kind of grape yesterday. Gross. Anyway. Um like I don't know. I I care about her enough to still talk to her here and there. But to be honest, I'm I'm drifting away with a lot of stuff. Um, I'm drifting away from a lot of people. Cause I I started real I started realizing that maybe it's best if I go on a hiatus for a while to fo look at myself in the mirror, focus on myself, work on my mental health, and work on all, everything I did for almost two years. I was single for almost two years until I got with Cass. Don't get me wrong, I love her. I care about her still, no matter what. Friends or not, I still care. But if the, the question always remains in my mind from y'all in general, would I ever get back with her? Depending on the situation, it just all depends. And why why I say that is if she got pregnant, oh yeah, definitely I would get back with her. Because that's my child. If it wasn't because we were gonna she wasn't gonna have a kid with me, probably not. Um She's gotten better with certain stuff with me since she's been gone. And yeah, I'm not gonna lie, I still think about her. I still look outside when she when I, after I got up here before she sold the cobalt, when I saw the cobalt sitting in the driveway, yes, I'm not going to lie about that. But am I better off without her? Relationship-wise? Depends. Am I sleeping better? Nah, now I'm not. Now I'm back to my normal, weird, wacko sleeping schedule. Um... So I just, to me, I think it was more of, I was getting drowned by her, as far as what are you doing, where are you going, texting me every five minutes, seeing what I was doing, um, just different things, and I don't want to sugarcoat it, but, um, like, I just... To me, honestly, I don't regret the relationship. I look at it as the relationship was a lesson to grow up and to grow out to the old, grow out the old me. And why why I say that is because the old me locked up, didn't care what anybody says, focused on myself. I didn't even focus on myself. I dropped everything for everybody. Tell you the truth. And, you know, I, I don't want to keep doing that. 
but at the same time, sorry, I'm fixing the light a little bit. I'm trying to, that works. As long as it's not blinding me, I'll be all right. As long as, long as y'all can see me. But like, I'm going to put it out there now. I do care about her. Yes. Do I still love her? Boyfriend, girlfriend wise? Depends. Um, would I love to see us have a friendship? Oh, most definitely. But with all the stuff that has happened with her, I don't think I can go back down that road. I don't think I can go back to that. I get it. She's trying to get help. I get that. But... I don't want to be putting myself in that type of situation again. I don't want to get depressed. I don't want to get upset all the time. Um, now, it's been it's been two weeks since I've seen her face to face. It's been two weeks since I've hugged her. But I'm going to say this now. If y'all think for a minute that I don't care about her, you're wrong. Because I do. I, do. I truly do care about her. I will always care. Yeah, I may have jumped the gun with her within the first like couple weeks I was up here or the, few, the first month I was here. I may have jumped the gun. But in reality, it was my it was my stupidity. I was drunk. I was doing something I should have been shouldn't have been doing. I will admit that. But I on the top on on top of that, I think it was more of I had that person that cared, but didn't care. It's weird how to explain that, but um. But, like, I, I mean, like, I know she cares, but at the same time, I feel like she don't. Um, like, I just, I don't know. To t tell you the truth, I don't know anymore. To be honest, I don't know how much more I can take of trying to be with somebody. Because guess what? I give and I give and I give and all the person does is take, take, take. Can't do it no more. So it's one thing for me to give and they take and then they give it right. They give it in return some way, somehow, some form, some fashion. But to take, take, take or to give, 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 take, take, take without giving anything back is I, I'm over it. And I'm just going to put it out there now. Um, the way I felt when I was with her is not how I feel now with her being gone. And this is, this is not to knock on her. This is not to make her look bad. This is not going to make her seem like she's the bad person. Because in all reality... To make one person bad, the other person's got to be bad too. I I'm going to admit that. We've had our problems, we had our fights, but guess what? We tried. We kept trying to make it work. And it's hard for me to talk about that, but we did try. And, like, I just, I don't know. And... Don't, please don't ask me what happened between me and her. Cause I, I'm not, I don't want to talk about it. And it's not, it's not to disrespect y'all. It's not to hate on y'all. It's, it's just something I don't want to talk about. I'm only doing this right now because I felt like I needed to. So. I, I just. 
honestly, within the past two weeks, I realized how bad it was until now. Well, how bad it was when she was here. Now it's not that bad. It's not as bad as as I think it would have been. Doing it being on my own. Um. So, if you if you think about it, just know, don't ask. Don't ask what happened. I don't want to talk about it. If you want to ask it personally, add me on Snapchat. Ask me that way. I'll try to explain it the best way I can. Other than that, I don't want to talk about it. I want to. I want to leave that in my past. I want to look on to tomorrow, a week from now, weeks from now, months from now, years from now. I want to look to the future. I want to try to get my life on track, get myself together. I want to do everything I want. I've, I've set out on goals to do. Um, so this is, this is something I didn't want to do, but I thought I should. Um, I'm sorry, but I just want to throw that out there now. So, if you ain't dipping, you're tripping, keep cracking today. I hope you see all my dip shots. Stay positive, always think positive. Never think negative, and everything things will come your right. Always think and stay positive, and positive things will come in your direction and in your heart. I hope you have a great day, great night, wherever you're watching this. If I don't see you, I'll see you on the dip side. America.